got back from doing my two week grocery haul. I went to Aldi. I spent $182. I did go over. I normally spent, that was like 91 a week. I normally like to spend 60 to 70 a week, but I just got a lot of extra stuff from my prepper pantry. So I did that, a lot of fill-in stuff. Um, today was supposed to be Ruby's Pantry. It got canceled, total bummer. However, I did find another location that is not too far from the place I do go to. So next Saturday, I will be doing a Ruby's Pantry haul. Um, thank goodness they have more than one location. Um, but yeah, I'll show you what I did get at Aldi for this two-week haul. So this is an overview of everything I got for the $182. I'll start over here. They had their bananas. They were $0.28 cents a pound. I haven't seen them that cheap in a really long time. So I grabbed, there's actually three bunches here. And these were, I believe, $1.93 for the three bunches. Um, some of these crackers my kiddos like for $1.99. One more box of their fruit rounds, which was $1.29. I like these because they have no artificial dyes, naturally flavored, and we like to stay away from the artificial dyes as much as possible. So like I said, $1.29. And then my kiddos like these white cheddar crackers. It was $2.29 for this family size box, so that was a good deal. For $1.29 a box, I got two boxes of Aldi version of Lucky Charms. And I still have lots of cereal in my prepper pantry, and I've just been rotating it out, taking the older out, and putting the newer down. And then a bag of Mountain Trail Mix. It was $4.99. So it was like one pound, 10 ounces. I got some one pack of fresh raspberries. These were $1.29 for those. My husband wanted some guacamole. It was $2.99. Um, so a total of one pound of guacamole. Um, two containers or boxes of cornstarch. These were 69 cents each. Um, my daughter wanted this organic strawberry preserves. This was actually $1.89 for that. And then I got two of their barbecue sauces. These were 79 cents each. One of their ketchup at $1.19. That is the really big one. Two pounds, six ounces. I got a package of red seedless grapes. These were 89 cents a pound this week. I don't even know how, I think it was like three something for the package. I got some green onions. This is a really big pack. It was 59 cents. I grabbed one of those. And then I grabbed from romaine hearts we use these for lettuce wraps all kinds of stuff this was $2.29 I grabbed a jar of salsa at 89 cents and then some more of this creamy peanut butter organic there's no sugar nothing it's just peanuts this was $2.89 I was absolutely out of my cooking spray so I grabbed two olive oil one butter these were $1.45 a can so I grabbed three of those some lunch meat for the kiddos, black forest ham at $2.19 for the pack. And then my husband wanted salami, so there's two packs here. This was $1.79 for eight ounces this week. It was like an Aldi special or something, I don't know. And then my kiddos wanted some of these pretzels. Um, they like to use the almond bark and dip them in chocolate and vanilla. These were 79 cents this week, so that was a really good deal. And then I got one bag of original baked and two bags of the barbecue. These were $1.79 each. I got two bags of the blue corn tortillas. Those were also $1.79 each. And then I grabbed, I think it was two, four, ten bags of these pre-done fries. I got two seasoned fries, two tater tots, um, two crinkle cuts. Two potato puffs, um, potato rounds. So I just got those. If we're in a hurry, I can just put them in the air fryer and feed the kiddos. These were $1.59 a pack this week. Um, they're Italian meatballs. We love these when we make spaghetti. This was $3.99 for the bag. 
and two pounds. And it says about 64 meatballs. So yeah, that's a really good deal. I grabbed two gallons of milk to put in the freezer. Um, these were $1.79 each. So I like to keep rotating them out in my freezer. That way we always have milk. I never have to worry about it. I did grab two apple juices at 79 cents each. For $1.65 this week, they did have the semi-sweet morsel, so I grabbed three packs of those. To, I still have a ton of baking chips, but just keeping the, the stock filled. And then I grabbed four of the Imperial Margarines. Those were $0.79 cents a box, so when my kiddos are baking and they need vegetable oil, they use that. I did grab four things of butter, three salted, one unsalted. It was $2.89 a box. I hate spending that much, but... I was out of butter. I needed butter, so I grabbed four for now, hoping it comes on sale. Getting closer to the holidays, I'll stock up. I did grab four of the baking sodas at 50 cents a box. I grabbed two of these rice pilaf and two of these chicken-flavored rices. These were 79 cents a box. My kiddos wanted some of those. Um, container of honey roasted peanuts was $1.79. They still have a limit on... Some of their canned goods, so they're fat-free refried beans. Um, these were 69 cents a can, can, but they only let me get four, so I grabbed four for now. I still have a ton downstairs in my prepper pantry, so I'm just rotating them out like I said. I did get a gelled cranberry sauce at 79 cents and a whole cranberry sauce this one was 89 cents to put up for the holidays so i have it and then i grabbed four of their five pound bags of flour so that's 20 pounds of flour these were dollar 89 a bag i do have a five gallon bucket downstairs in my prepper pantry i just refilled my upstairs container and half of it's gone so i wanted to refill it to keep it stocked to where I'm not having to worry about regular flour and then I got two loaves of the white bread I still have bread in my freezer but I just wanted to make sure I had enough because um, we've been making a lot of homemade bread lately also but that was 79 cents for the white bread and then I got two honey wheats this was actually a dollar 39 each and then yes they have low carb tortillas by their regular tortillas at Aldi. This was $2.19 for the package, which is actually a really good deal for these. And then just keeping stock on my pasta for my prepper pantry, I grabbed two more of the penne. They were 79 cents a box. And I grabbed the spaghetti. This was 99 cents. And then I grabbed two things of cheese. I got a Colby Jack and a sharp cheddar they're eight ounces so half a pound and these were a dollar 65 this week i will probably cut these up into cheese sticks for the kiddos to eat that is way cheaper to do it this way for 89 cents i got a bag of salad mix um pre-done so i don't have to chop nothing up i just throw it in a bowl for dinner and we're good um for 4.99 my kids love these fruit strips I still have some, but I just like to keep stock on things. So we got that. I needed a couple seasonings, so I grabbed a ground nutmeg and a ground cumin. These were 95 cents each. I needed these sliced banana peppers. Um, we don't typically eat these, but a recipe I am making calls for them. So this was $1.19 for 16 fluid ounces. And then the almond bark. I still, like I said, I still got a bunch of this. Just stocking up for the holidays. These are $2.29 each. I got the chocolate and the vanilla. It's what my kiddos are going to use um, when they dip the pretzels. They use this stuff. And then I got a pack of We Love the Aldi Sausage Patties. This was $5.49. There's 18 patties in there. And then for $1.19, I got a package of red onions. $0.89, cents, I got two packs of marshmallows for my kiddos and my chickens. I grabbed 10 pounds of potatoes for $3.39 this week. And then I grabbed three packs. Let's see, the Gala apples, I believe they're three, yep, yeah, three pounds, 
bag. $1.29 a bag, so I grabbed three of them. If for some reason they don't get eight right away, I'll dehydrate them and put them in my vacuum sealer and we're good. Nothing goes to waste around here. And then I grabbed this for dinner tonight. I do have beef in my freezer, but I wanted something already thawed out. It is a Black Angus Chuck Roast, 3.61 pounds. I paid $3.99 a pound. So it was $14.40 for this. So I'm going to throw this in my pressure cooker for dinner tonight. And then they had half a pork loin. It came to $8.47. It was Four point four eight pounds at a dollar eighty nine a pound, so that was really good. So I grabbed this to throw in the freezer for extra. So yeah, like I said, it was one hundred eighty two dollars over what I normally do, but that's okay. I got a lot of stuff for the holidays and extended out. So yeah, this is my Aldi haul. Next week I am doing Ruby's Pantry.